Hi, my name is Maria Teresa Autista Vargas. I am Missioner Associate for Houston Canterbury, and I work with TSU and San Jack. General Convention, this is my first, although this is my second General Convention, I was previously in 2015, this is my first so that where I actually get to be involved in legislation, in the committees, and actually just be really participant in, in the whole General Convention aspect of it. And it has been incredible just to see how we work as a church, how the conversations that must be had, the, the hearings that must be held, the, how, every, how everything just has like a motion and how everything works. So beforehand, Eileen uh, O'Brien, Reverend Eileen O'Brien had given us like a training on uh, what is General Convention, but it's different to like hear it than actually be a participant in it. So I think that's been one of my favorite things, just actually knowing that us, especially us young uh, adults, have a place in this in this part, in this realm of, of, of endless possibilities on how to change the church and how to be impactful in that way. And knowing that not only just as a young adult, but as a young adult Latina, having being able to see other fellow Latinos and African Americans and in our Asian communities come together to rise up issues that are important in our communities, that was for, for sure my favorite part. And in regards to what I hope for the future, like changes for the future for our church, I think it has to deal with the involvement of young adults and youth in our in, in, in our congregations and our communities. We have the power to be involved and I feel like this has just been a great uh, trial to see that we can do it. I mean, for the revival, the young adults were the ones that held the prayer stations and to be given that opportunity was so humbling and was such an honor that we can do this to our young adults back in our congregations, wherever it may be, to our youth, giving them this power, like empowering them to know that they, and you know, many people say we're the future of the church and I've heard that many times, um, but we're also the present, right? So like, let's start now giving us responsibilities, letting us know that we're able to do this, having us in the table when we're having conversations. So I feel like that's my hope for the church. And of course, as a Latina, and with everything going on, with families being separated and all that, I hope as a church, we, we, we understand the importance of these issues and we come together instead of being divided by our opinions and work together for the benefit of everyone involved.